Hi everyone. In today's video, I will explain a very important concept in the topic of principles of navigation that often students confuse. Now in this video, I will not only explain the theoretical relationship by definitions, but I will also draw it to make it easy for you to understand the relationship between the concepts I'm talking about. So today I will explain what is the difference between SHA or sidereal R angle and RA that is right ascension and what is their relationship with GHA that is Greenwich R angle. So first let's study the definition and then I will draw it to make it easy for you to understand the definition. You should be able to apply it to any principle of navigation numerical that you face in the exam. So what is SHA or sidereal R angle? This is the angle that is contained between the celestial meridian of the first point of Aries that is denoted by this symbol here and the celestial meridian that passes through the celestial body. In this case, I will take star as the example of the celestial body. Now this is measured westwards. Now this is the key word here. It is measured westwards from Aries. So remember, this is the celestial meridian we are talking about. That means this has nothing to do with the Earth's surface. This has everything to do with the celestial sphere. So in the celestial sphere, we don't have meridians. We have celestial meridians. They are the meridians from the Earth that are projected onto the celestial sphere. So if I have to understand this simply, Let's say this is the meridian passing through Aries. This is the symbol of Aries. And if I draw the celestial meridian passing through the star, that is this meridian here, what will be the sidereal angle? It will be measured westwards in this way, this here. So this on the left side is always west and the right side is always <laughs> the right side is always east. Right. So when we say we measure it westwards, we go left. So this angle here, this angle here, this arc here, the arc measured westward from the first point of Aries to the meridian passing through the celestial body is called SHA. Alright, now let's understand what is RA. Now what is RA? RA is nothing but right ascension. This is the opposite of the sidereal R angle. This is the angle contained between the celestial meridian, again celestial meridian, between of the first point of Aries, denoted by this symbol, and that of the celestial body. In this case again, I will take star as the example of the celestial body. And this is measured eastwards. It's measured eastwards. This is the key word here. Measured eastwards, but again from the first point of Aries. Now, why do I keep talking about star as a celestial body? Because when we talk about first point of Aries, we normally refer it in the context of the star as a celestial body because the stars, stars as celestial bodies are the farthest away from us. So we need a point of reference to measure its angular distance from us as the observer. So that's why we use the first point of Aries as a reference point and we measure all the angles of the star from the first point of Aries. That is why we've got SHA. Now let's understand in terms of diagram, what does this mean, right? So again, I'll draw the similar diagram that I drew before. This is the celestial sphere. Let's say this is the meridian passing through the first point of Aries. And again, I will draw the star in the same place that I drew it before. This is the meridian passing through the star. Now what will be RA? RA will be measured eastwards going on the right side, remember? The right side is east and the left side is west. So if I go right, if I go right from the first point of Aries, I'm going eastwards. So this angle here is right ascension. So if I go back to the same diagram that I drew before, I can even draw right ascension here. So what will be right ascension? Right ascension will be this angle here. This will be right ascension. So you can see how 
SHA is measured westward from first point of Aries and how right ascension is measured eastward from the first point of Aries but both going up to the celestial meridian of the celestial body which will be star in this case. Alright, now let's understand what is their relationship. You can see the relationship between SHA and RA here but what is their relationship with the Greenwich R angle or GHA? What is the relationship between Greenwich R angle or GHA? Now, to understand what is GHA or Greenwich R angle, I'll be talking about Greenwich R angle or GHA star. Because we are talking about star here, so let's talk about GHA star as an example. So, what is GHA? GHA is nothing but the angle contained between celestial meridian of the Greenwich just like we have a Greenwich meridian on the Earth's surface at 0, 0, 0 degrees and its anti-meridian at 180 we project it onto the celestial sphere and we call it the celestial Greenwich meridian and the meridian passing through the body right so in this case what is the body I am talking about the celestial body, I am talking about star in this case as an example. So it could be sun, moon, planets, but here I am talking about star. And this is also measured westwards, but from where? From Greenwich. Alright, so let's understand what is Greenwich GHA star as well before I explain the relationship between the three through a example. So if I draw a celestial sphere. You can see how perfect my circles are. <laughs> so this is a Greenwich Meridian. We call it GM, let's say, Greenwich Meridian. And if I go, if I go westward from here, again, like I said, the left is the westward and right is, again, I keep writing right, but this is actually east, right? So if I say this is left, so if you go left, that is, if you go westward, this angle here from Greenwich Meridian to the star is called GHA star. If it was sun, it would be GHA sun. If it was a planet, it would be GHA said planet or the moon, then GHA moon. Alright. Now, let's understand the important relationship between GHA star, SHA and RA. All right, so let's do that as an example. So if we take an example, you'll understand it better. But let's understand how the relationship is defined first. So if you go into your books, you will see the relationship is defined this way. GHA star is equal to GHA Aries plus SHA star or GHA star is equal to GHA Aries minus RA star. Alright, so these are the two relationships that explain the relationship between GHA and SHA and RA. So let's take an example and understand through a drawing as to this relationship. So let me explain the first relationship through an example. Alright, so I'll draw this here see how beautiful my drawing is right so let me draw the celestial greenwich meridian gm and let me put the star here right so what will be gha star gha star will be measured westwards from greenwich meridian all the way here this will be gha star all right now let's say an example is GHA star is equal to 230 degrees 2 in this case. Let's say as an example, alright, this is just an example. Now the first relationship it says GHA star equals GHA Aries plus SHA star, right? So let's say for example, GHA Aries was somewhere here. 
so what will be gh aries from greenwich measured westward to the first point of aries so this will be gh aries right and now by definition what is sh star do you remember so sh star was sh measured westwards from first point of aries to celestial body this blue arc here so this blue arc here becomes sh star all right so you can see here if gha aries was say 80 degrees all right just looking at the angle you can see and sha star was 150 degrees you can see that gha star will be equal to gha aries plus sha star so 230 degrees will be equal to 80 degrees plus 150 degrees so 230 degrees is equal to 230 degrees even in the drawing forget about these examples the numbers you can see in the drawing that the black arc is equal to the red arc plus the blue arc am i right just look at it carefully the black arc is equal to the red arc plus the blue arc so gh star is equal to gh aries plus sh star now let me take up the second example the second example is or the second relationship is gh star equals gh aries minus right ascension star all right so let me take the same kind of an example again i draw the greenwich meridian here i will draw the star in the same place that i drew here and i will say gh star is equal to 230 degrees now what is right ascension or rather let me first take up what is gh aries so you now you guys know what is gh aries right you know what is gh aries so i will draw the aries in the same place that i drew it before and i will say gh aries is equal to 80 degrees now what is a right ascension all right so what is a right ascension so let's understand what is right ascension so right ascension as you all remember right ascension was measured eastward from first point of aries going up to the celestial body so the red arc here right ascension right so now if you see if gha aries is 80 degrees right and gh star is 230 degrees and uh, we have we have no idea what is right ascension right but do we know let's say what is sha now in the previous example how much was sha so we took sha as 150 degrees right so taking the same example let's say let's say sha which is measured westward from first point of aries to the star if sha was if sha was how much was the sha we said previously 150 degrees right so sha star plus right ascension star are making up 360 degrees right if you go back here and if you see here sha if you go back here and see sha plus ra it's if you put them together it's a circle 360 degrees right so sha plus ra star one is measured westward one is measured eastward but put together they will equal 360 degrees so in this case if sha star i say is 150 degrees let's say right plus right ascension star is equal to 360 degrees what will be right ascension star 360 minus 150 which is equal to 210 degrees right so i will put 210 degrees here 
but what is the relationship we are trying to prove the relationship we are trying to prove is is gh star equal to gh aries minus r a star all right so is let me change the pen here is gh star equal to gh aries minus right insertion star so i wanted to use the same value so that you understand the relationship so in this case here we don't need to understand sh i used only sh to find out the value of ra right so here gh star is 2 3 0 degrees gh aries was 80 degrees minus right ascension star is 2 1 0 degrees all right so 80 degrees minus 2 1 0 0 degrees will be minus 1 3 0 degrees so that's not how we subtract it so if the first value is larger than the or smaller than the second value what we will do we will add 360 degrees to make it bigger so this becomes 4 4 0 degrees minus 2 1 0 degrees which is 2 3 0 degrees and this is 2 3 0 degrees already so we know that gh star is equal to gh aries minus right ascension star all right so i will make some more videos on these i will uh, use more uh, maths to explain the relationship and use the drawing as well to explain it this was just the first video i hope you understood the relationship between these uh, values and these concepts but i'll keep making videos on this uh, so that you can see more examples and you understand it better uh, not only from drawing but also through the maths as well all right thank you for watching today's video as well and thank you for supporting the channel i really appreciate the support i get from all of you from members and non-members and i'll see you soon bye for now